So we're always on the move, we're on the move, and we need to get a fire going, we need to get a fire going quick. How are we gonna get a fire going? We're gonna look for pine. If I could find pine, I need to find pine sap. Where do I find pine sap? Pine sap is gonna be on a wound of a pine tree, or like where a knot or a branch was broken. Um, right here. Pine sap, okay? Um, it's sticky, it might feel a little bit hard, it's gonna look a little bit discolored, um, white like this, but that's okay. Grab a stick, um, take that stick, and uh, get some of that pine sap on the stick. The more the better. You can see it's just coming right out of there, real easy, right? Oh, it broke the stick, that's okay though. Get as much pine sap on that stick as you can. So you get back into camp, you got your pine sap on your stick, you grab your trusty old lighter, light this stuff up, it immediately starts burning, and you have yourself nature's fire starter. Look at this thing. That's gonna keep on burning there for us. Now I can load up my sticks, do everything I need to do, and I got myself a fire. So I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking Dan's on speed. What is happening on this video that he hit fast forward? Um, just playing around with everybody to show you how quickly and efficiently you really can find fire starters out here. Um, of course, it's gonna be environmentally dependent depending if you have pine in your area. But if you do, um, very quickly you can find fire starters. Almost um, every little grove of pine is gonna have some sap somewhere. Now the sap um, that I collected, you noticed it was like that white looking, okay? Um, once I broke through that harder outer area, it was very, very soft on the inside. Sometimes you'll find big globs that are soft from the outside all the way in, and sometimes you're gonna find globs that look like sap that seem very hard. They, it's still sap, it's just dried. Um, you can take your knife, you can break that free and utilize that. Um, the same goes for if you find sap that's very wet still, okay? Um, and when I say wet, it's not wet like moisture wet, it's just gooey, okay? It didn't dry out yet. Um, you can take that and you could put that inside a piece of aluminum foil or a piece of saran wrap or a piece of cotton. It will get hard, but it still has the same properties built in. The nice thing with this fire starter also is that um, it has resins in it, so even if it gets wet, it's still light. So if it's raining out and you pull this off a tree, it's still going to ignite for you. Um, just another nice option to have, another tool for the toolbox. So I'm going to actually take this little bit of pine that I collected um, and I'm going to dip it right in water. So it is, it's wet, right? Um, give it a little shake, live time video here. Hit it with a little bit of open flame, a little bit more open flame. And what you're gonna notice is that stuff's burning. So even if it gets wet, it's still viable. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this speedy video. Another quick one from Dan here, um, what I'm known for my quick little short tips, tools for the toolbox. So if you like this, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and uh, check us out at coolcrackerbushcraft.com. We have some awesome stuff. And until the next video, stay in the woods.